very good evening and a very warm welcome to all the children those who are watching us through this uh, social media and later they will be able to watch that on the bible tv global and on the sharing the word of god we are listening the word of god uh, through this uh, social media but uh, we have to be very careful we shouldn't uh, travel and uh, we need to pray for all the children those who are unsafe at the moment those who became homeless and uh, people are struggling uh, to travel here and there and uh, um, it's a very bad situation at the moment so let's give him thanks that we are safe and uh, we are here to listen the word of god okay so let's pray together loving god heavenly father you are our protector we give you thanks that you are faithful in your promises you are always with us loving god heavenly father we give you thanks for each and every moment you have given us this precious life heavenly father i ask your blessing upon these children please be with them and give them wisdom open their minds and uh, as they are listening the word of god almighty god i ask your blessing and your anointing upon chatia merciful god i ask your guidance and your blessing for the people those who are sharing this uh, uh, link with one another and those who are watching through this social media in this moment please be with us bless us lead us guide us and inspire us by the power of holy spirit in jesus name we ask this amen okay shadia over to you uh, i think zoya and uh, rehan are here okay Thank yes you. oh welcome rehan welcome welcome to everyone and it's so good to see you hello good evening this is my favorite part of the week when we do sunday school on a friday not at all confusing and it's so lovely to see you all have you had a good week brilliant good and i've been looking forward to seeing you as well today and as buddy sub was saying there is a bit of a storm storm unis is making itself felt so it's great to see that you are all safe and well and we are all safe and well because we are in our very secure homes and our story today is by chance about having a secure home as well i didn't plan for a storm on friday and the lesson would fit that it's just the way it's worked out which is a happy coincidence god knew what he was doing didn't he when he put that idea into my head about today's story before we do do today's story we have got work from two people this week first of all from ria and second of all from aaron and they've both worked extremely jolly hard so thank you both of you for your work and i'd love to share your work and show what you have done here we are just sharing here we are so ria's beautiful gratitude jar beautiful and colorful and i thought she's really thought about this carefully because if you have a look at what she's written there are all sorts of things that she is grateful for she's got her spiritual needs in there so she's got god family and friends and i think music probably comes into all that as well then she's got material needs like water clothes food education and then she has got things that she just enjoys xbox piano and i think if she was going to do a venn diagram there would be things that overlap in there so ria thank you very much for sharing the things that you are grateful for and remember please that if you do a gratitude jar and you can start it at any time you didn't just have to do it for last week you might decide that you want to do it again or carry on with it this week you can carry on adding things you might have a birthday and you might get something that you a present that you really like and you might put that in your gratitude jar and it's a really good way of remembering to say thank you to god for all the things that you are grateful for and ria was not just inspired to do that she also did the little maze Remember Jesus healed 10 people last week and only one came back to say thank you. And it didn't matter how difficult it was to go back to say thank you that person went back. And then we have Aaron who did the code breaker and he did the word search and he did the maze 
And he did the gratitude jar. Aaron, are you exhausted from doing all of your work? You're okay. Well, well done. Congratulations to you for doing all of this. And the things that he is grateful for, a new house, a new school, a family, and a brother. That's you, Zane. Lucky you. And Sunday school. Thank you for putting Sunday school in your gratitude jar. And the thing that I'm really noticing as well is on your handwriting, how you're doing your flicks and ticks. So very well done. That's getting you ready to do joined up writing. Okay, so good boy. Well done. Okay. Now, let's stop showing. Boys and girls, have you ever played this game? Jenga. Do you know how to play it? Abigail, you've got two thumbs up. Tell me how you play it. <laughs> what was that? No. Um, so um, we make a tower with all the bricks. And, um, um, we take um, um, some um, out and put them back at the top and try not to make it fall down. Exactly. Beautifully explained. We make a tower with the bricks not like this, they're in stages of three, and then you pick one up, you put it on the top, and you're trying to not make it topple over. Now, when you play Jenga, or when you play this game, is it better to do it on a hard surface, or is it better for me to do it on this? Which one is it better? Zane, your hand went up straight away. So Zane, can you tell me, should I do it on the table or should I do it on the cushion? What do you think, Zane? Cushion. On the cushion, let's try it. Zane, you've got a lot of confidence in me. Let's, okay. So let's see, I'm gonna try it here. I can pro probably, let's see if I can get three in a row here. I can get three in a row. Do you think I could do three in a row on the cushion? Do you think, Zane? I've got one. Table. It fell over, I'll try again. Got one on the cushion. I've got a second one on the cushion. You think I could do one more? Yeah. Mm. No, why not? Yeah, Miku's got his jazz hands going on. Miku, why not? Why could I not do it on the cushion? Because it's uneven. It's an uneven surface, exactly. I think Zane realised that and changed his mind halfway through. It is an uneven surface, exactly. It's not great for building on. It is not good for building on. To have a secure place to build something on is what we need to do. That's the best thing. And Jesus told a parable about this. Do we remember what the word parable means? We've done this word and it's okay if we don't remember because that's why we go over it again and again until we do remember and we remind ourselves. Ria, unmute yourself, please. Uh, is it a story? It is, exactly. It's a story. A story that I tell? Who told you? Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's a story that Jesus told. And the reason that he tells this story is to tell us about the kingdom of God and what it is like and how we live our lives. OK, and it's a, a way to demonstrate to us. So he told a story about two people who built a house. And I'm going to instead of me telling you the story. This is. Oh, hold on. I didn't share my screen, so that's not going to work. I'm going to tell you here. There we are. And I just share my sound with you. Parable of the two builders. This is Jesus. Hey -oh. Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. 
his disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the flood waters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Oops. Okay, let's stop sharing that and close this. Excellent. Okay, boys and girls, a lovely illustration there about what it is like to follow Jesus and to listen to his words. And one of the reasons I really like that particular video is because last week we did the story of the 10 lepers and that was right at the beginning of that story. And do you remember last year when we did the work on Jesus walking on water where you made a boat and you had a strip of paper with Jesus walking along it? Do you remember? We did that last year, exactly. And that's why I really like that video because we have done some of those stories and it was a great reminder. The one about Lazarus being raised from the dead, we haven't done that one yet, but we will be doing that in the next few weeks. And in that story, Jesus said this, a foolish person will choose an uneven surface like sand to build something on. This is not going to work very easily at all. A wise person will choose a solid ground like a rock to build their house on. And boys and girls, today we heard a lot of wind outside. We heard a lot of rain just recently and we were safe and we were warm and we were dry. And we have to be very grateful to God for that. And Jesus is saying is that your heart and how you learn is like a house and you have a choice. You can either build it on a solid ground, which is the word of God, which will always tell you. There are very, very few things, boys and girls, that I'm 100% certain of. But I'm 100% certain that if you follow the teachings of God, you will always be looked after and you will always be safe. Because God loves you very, very much. He loves you so much and he will not let you fall. And even when things are feeling a little bit tricky and it feels like that there is a wind blowing against you, even at that point, even if that is happening, it's okay. Because you, your house, your heart is built on solid ground. And that's a wise thing to do. But... A foolish person will not listen to God and will build their house on the foolish person will not listen to God. A foolish person will not listen carefully to the word of God. They will try and build their house on something soft and it will all fall down. They will not be safe and looked after. Okay. Sometimes it's not easy to always listen to what God is asking us to do. Do you remember when we did the story of Jonah and the big fish? And he ran away to Nineveh because God was, he ran away, sorry, from Nineveh because God was asking him to do something. And he thought, no, thanks, God. I don't want to do that. But actually, he at that point was like the person who built his house on the sand. But he had enough wisdom to then put his heart and put his teaching on solid ground. So this is what we've got today. Are you ready? Here we have 
A house that is built on the rock. Can we see that? There we go. A house that is built on the rock and a house that is built on the sand. And one day, oh, one day the teacher let go of the work and it all fell down. So let's try that again. Let's rewind. Blah, 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 that didn't happen. One day the rain came down. And when the rain came down, the house on the solid rock stayed exactly where it was. But the one on the sand washed away, crash. Now, which house do you want to be? This house, house number one or house number two? Show me, which house would you prefer to be? I'm so pleased to see house is number one. Excellent, we want to be house number one. Let me show you this all over again. Just to remind you, we have two houses, a house built on the rock and a house built on the sand. I don't know if you can see my sand in your picture. Okay, and one day the rain came down. It's got all clouds and rain and so on, all the rain falling. The house on the rock, nothing happened to it. It stayed up and the people inside were safe and they were dry. But the house on the sand slowly, slowly sunk into the sand crash. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, we have a choice. God doesn't force us to do anything. He gives us a choice and we can choose to be this house. So this, boys and girls, is one of your activities today. I've also got a word search, uh, two word searches actually, that I'm going to put in the WhatsApp group if you would like to do that. If you would like to do the story in a completely different way, do a picture about it, do a stop go animation about it, anything you like, I would love to see that. So please do send it to me. Okay, are we happy? Do we know what we're doing? Thumbs up, middle down. Thumbs up, super super. Excellent. Well done. What a nice smile there as well coming through, Aaron. Good boy. Nice to see that. Now, and I looking happy, feeling happy? Wonderful. Good. Now, we're going to finish soon with our prayers. You are very impressive because you've always got wonderful prayer requests. I'm going to start the prayer request today. Body sub, are you ready with your notepad and your pen? Thank you very much. Because Bhati Sab was saying that there's some children who are having a difficult time right now because of the winds, but also a lot of people were protected and they were saved because there were meteorologists who had predicted this and God had given them enough wisdom to tell us, please stay at home today because the weather's going to be horrible. So I think for all those people who work hard to protect us, we should say thank you for them. And that includes our emergency services, because if, for example, a tree had fallen on a road, and in my area, quite a lot of trees have fallen down, then the fire brigade would come and help to move that, and they would put their own selves at risk to make sure that the community still stays safe. And I think they really need our prayers, especially on a stormy day like today. Gabrielle, you have your hand up. Wonderful. Unmute yourself and tell us, please, what's your prayer request today? Um, the weather. The weather. What would you like especially to pray for the weather? That when the near our road, there's a tree that fell down. Same. And, and then there's it. even a car with a window on the back. Crack fell. Crack. Gosh, and let's hope that no one was hurt. So all the people who've been affected, that's another way, actually, isn't it? Thank you for reminding us that some people's property or something they own might have got damaged. Mm. Let's hope no one was in the car at the time. Thank you for reminding us. Um, Anaya. To keep my dad safe in the storm. Has he gone to work? Okay, exactly. For people who work, who have gone to work now, thank you. We'll pray for him. Uh, Mikhail. Um, for Shazia Papa, um, because she provides us with Sunday school every Friday. Thank you very much. Thank you for your prayers. I really appreciate that. 
And I feel very blessed to have the opportunity to do Sunday school for you. So when I do my personal prayers, I thank God for the opportunity that I can do Sunday school with you. So thank you for joining. Ria. Um, uh, my brother Sunu's birthday is on Wednesday. Is Last it? Week. Are you having a bit of a celebration on Wednesday? Uh, no, we're doing it, uh, I think, tomorrow or on Sunday. Nice. So he's going to have a birthday weekend and then a birthday midweek. Okay, yeah. we'll definitely pray for Sunu. Anyone else having a birthday or something that we need to celebrate and say thank you to God for? Zoya, have you got something you want to pray for? No? Mm -hmm. Have a think. Abigail, you have... My friend's birthday. What's your friend's name? Ava. Ava's birthday. And how old will Ava be? Do you know? Seven. Seven. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. We will pray for Ava. Lucky girl to have you as her friend. Mm -hmm. Any other prayer requests? No, that's quite a lot. Okay, Bhadi Sub, have you got everyone's uh, prayer yes, uh, What about the Mother's Day? Uh, uh, is there any other information you want to share about that uh, Mother's Day? I will do. After we pray, then I'll share some more information about that. Okay. 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 So okay. let's pray, children. Please close your eyes and uh, in the presence of God. And uh, you can close your hands because it's a sign of humbleness and meekness. We need to give thanks to God for this wonderful lesson. We need to build our lives according to the word of God. And we need to ask him to give us a wisdom. God wants to see us protected. He is faithful, merciful, and he is our shelter. He is our rock. We need to give him thanks that he is anchor of our lives. Loving God, Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that you are giving people knowledge and wisdom. Those who are thinking about the protection of your people. We give thanks for all the people, those who are serving the community, especially in this bad weather. Those who are thinking about the protection of your people, safety of your people. Heavenly Father, we pray for fire brigade. We pray for police and ambulance and for all the other people, those who are helping the community around them. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon these children. Loving God, please be with them and bless them, especially in this time of prayer. We remember um, Moon as he's working outside. Almighty God, be with him and protect him. We ask your blessing upon Sonu as he's going to celebrate his birthday. We also pray for Eva as uh, she is celebrating her birth, seventh birthday. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon all these children. Please help them that they may grow into your likeness. Loving God, Heavenly Father, we pray for Shazia as she is working hard for the spiritual growth of these children. We ask your blessing upon her. We pray for our church and uh, as we are going to have that meeting with the parents on this Sunday and we are thinking about uh, uh, the church and uh, uh, the Sunday school and uh, for our future plans, we ask your guidance and your wisdom for all the parents and the church committee. Please be with us and bless us and uh, protect your people in this bad weather. In Jesus' name we ask this. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, That's lovely. And boys and girls, as you've heard in that prayer, on Sunday, your parents are invited to a meeting in our church on Zoom. And it is about Sunday school because you are very, very important, as you know. And the meeting is about how we are going to do that in our next stage of Sunday school and what it would involve. So could you please have a think? Think about what you would like Sunday school to include, what you would like to do in Sunday school, how you think we could develop Sunday school even more and let your parents know. And if your parents are unable to attend that meeting, please give me a call and let me know. And then I can represent you in that meeting, because actually without you, 
This Sunday school will just be me and Bodhisub. And with respect, Bodhisub, I much prefer it with the children here rather than just the two of us. So you are the Sunday school. It is all about you. So you need to let us know what you think and you need to yes. let us know what you would prefer. OK, so that's one thing to bear in mind. The other thing to bear in mind is, as Bodhisub was saying, very soon it is going to be Mother's Day. And with our Sunday school, we don't just remember our own mums. We remember anyone who cares about us. It could be a grandparent or an auntie. It could be a godparent. It could be a neighbour, a friend, anyone who cares about us. All right. And it doesn't always have to be a girl. It might be someone who cares about us. And we really want to use that special day to say thank you to them and to remember them in front of God and thank God for the blessing that they are in our lives. So if you would like to do something in church, you might want to say a prayer and I can help you to write one or I can give you one. Or you might like to do a reading, you might like to do a song, you might like to read a poem. If there's anything that you would like to do, would you please let me know? And then I can help you prepare for that. Because you may have noticed in the shots, there are Mother's Day things all over the place at the moment and it's getting closer. So we need a couple of weeks to help you prepare. And if you would like to do something, please do let me know. Okay. All right. And boys and girls, remember that you are very important. You are, when you were baptized, when you had your christening in church, you were christened in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And that means that you are in God's family. And when you go to school or when you are playing with your friends, I'm sure that within you, they can see how special you are. And that's a wonderful responsibility that we carry. And when you're playing with your friends and you're doing things with your friends, they will know that you belong to a very special family. So boys and girls, always bear that in mind. And remember, know who you are. Know that you belong to a royal family. You belong to the family of God. Bodhisattva, any other notices from you? No, it's all right. I think uh, this is very important that they, they should share their concern and their interest uh, about the Sunday school. And uh, as you said, that they should tell their parents and uh, they will represent them. So we, we love to um, add these things into this program. And uh, um, these are always room for improvement. And, there is uh, always room for improvement. I love hearing ideas from children. I don't know if you know, boys and girls, that I work in a school and I love it when children come to me and say, can we try this? Can we do that? I've got an idea. I love that. It is your Sunday school. And if you want to join the meeting, you can as well. It's up to you. Father Sub, what time is the meeting on Sunday? Um, after service, half past three. Half past three. Okay. So it's in the afternoon. If you would like to join, you are very welcome to. If you want a grown-up to represent you, they can represent you. And if they can't make the meeting, I can be the grown-up that represents you. Okay, so tell us your ideas. Unmute yourselves, boys and girls, and say goodbye to each other and have a very blessed weekend. Stay safe in this stormy weather and a wonderful God bless weekend. You. If you're on half-term next week, enjoy your half-term next week. If you're going back to school next week, have a great time for the new half term at school. It's going to be amazing. And we'll see you next week. Ah, oh, and see you on Sunday before then. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Kaza. Thank you, children. Bye. God bless you. Bye. 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 Bye.